Before you begin, make sure you have a box cutter, level, tape measure, electric drill, computer with an HDMI output, and internet connection, HDMI cable, and pencil. Additionally, you will need eight screws for mounting the wall brackets. Remove the plastic wrap and unbox the package. Inside you will find the projector, the screen, a cardboard jig that you can use to position the projector, and two pairs of white gloves for carrying and mounting the screen. Move the furniture you will place the projector on to its final location. This will give the furniture time to settle into the floor as needed. If you're setting up a 100-inch screen, place the furniture so that the projector can be 17 inches away from the wall or 22 inches away from the wall for a 120-inch screen. If your furniture has adjustable feet, use them to level the furniture along both axes. Place the jig with the Do Not Discard labels facing down, then fold one of the larger flaps and its tab up. Fold the smaller flap and its tabs up. Then, insert the tab into the notch. Repeat the process on the other side of the jig. Place the jig against the wall. Then slide the projector until it touches the arms on the other end of the jig. Connect the power cable to the projector and an HDMI cable to the projector's HDMI 1 port. Remove the projector's lens cap and front cover. Align the projector's center with the expected center of your screen. Then, use the projector's adjustable feet to level it along both axes. To help you identify drill hole locations for the wall brackets, Epson has created a guide image that you can project onto your wall. Connect the free end of the HDMI cable to your computer. Then turn the computer on. Visit the Epson support site to download the wall bracket guide file. Set your computer's resolution to a value with 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Then open the guide file in full screen mode. Plug the projector in and press the power button to turn the projector on. Press the menu button, select settings, and choose reset. Select Zoom and make sure the image is at its maximum size. If it isn't, press the left arrow button to enlarge the image to the maximum size. Raise or lower the focus lever to sharpen the image. Confirm that the top screw and bottom screw lines are level across the entire projected image. If they aren't, Rotate the projector slightly or adjust the projector feet until the lines are level. Measure the height of the projected image on the left and right sides. Make sure the value is the same on each side and make sure it matches the height value displayed in the projected image. Measure the width and make sure it matches the width value shown in the image. If the values don't match, 
make sure you enlarged the projector's image all the way and adjust the position of the projector as needed. You can remove the jig if you need to move the projector closer to the wall to make the values match. Drill a hole in the top screw line on the upper left side of the projected image. If you are attaching the wall brackets to studs, place the hole where the line intersects with the center of a stud. Otherwise, place the hole anywhere on the line. Insert one of your mounting screws, then hang a wall bracket on it. Make sure the top of the bracket is level, then make a drill hole mark in the bottom hole of the bracket. Remove the bracket, drill the bottom hole, then rehang the bracket. Insert the bottom screw, then fully tighten both screws. Repeat the process to install the bracket on the upper right side. Then, repeat the process to install the brackets on the bottom. Spread out the included transparent sheet on the floor. Place the frame on the transparent sheet with the screw holes facing up. Insert the brackets into the shorter frame pieces. Then connect the shorter frame pieces to the longer frame pieces. Insert four screws in each corner. Remove the jig. Hang the frame on the wall brackets with the screws facing the wall. Move the frame left or right as needed to align it with the projected image. If the image is not aligned, slightly adjust the position of the projector as needed. Remove the screen material from the tube and unroll it on the transparent sheet. The back of the screen should be facing you. Center the frame on top of the screen material with the screw holes facing up. Fold the screen material over the frame to check the alignment. Hook one of the supplied springs through the hole in the corner of the screen material and then use one of the included hooks to attach the other end of the spring to the inside of the frame. Repeat this process for the other hole closest to the corner. Attach the springs in the opposite corner and then in the two remaining corners. Attach the centers of the long sides of the screen and then attach the centers of the short sides. Attach the remaining sections of the screen, starting from the centers of the sides and moving outward. Attach the frame edges with the screw holes facing up and the corner guards. Insert two screws in each corner. Next, install the supplied angle adjustment screws at the bottom edge of the frame. Hook one of the supplied springs into the hole in the bottom edge of the frame and then hook the other end to the inside of the frame. To avoid scratching the wall when you mount the screen, 
We suggest covering the back sides of the frame's corners with painter's tape. Once you have properly positioned the screen, you can remove the tape. Make sure you're wearing the provided white gloves before you pick up the screen. If you touch the screen material with your bare hands, you may damage it. Carry the screen to the wall. Then lean it against the wall at a 15 degree angle. Lift the screen while maintaining the angle and hook the wall brackets into the grooves at the top of the screen. Then, lower the screen onto the brackets and rest the bottom of the screen against the wall. Move the screen left or right as needed if the projected image falls outside of the screen range. If the screen is not vertically straight, turn the angle adjustment screws as needed. Select Settings, then select Installation Guide. Raise or lower the focus lever to sharpen the grid in the upper left corner of the screen. If you see any image misalignment, use one or more of the following methods to correct it. Adjust the projector feet. Turn the angle adjustment screws on the back of the screen. Move the projector, but only in small increments. If you still see misalignment, you can use the projector's keystone correction, quick corner, or blanking features for further correction. Remove the HDMI cable. Turn the projector off. Remove the storage space cover. Connect the USB power cable to the DC out port and the HDMI extension cable to the HDMI 3 port. Connect the HDMI and USB cables to the included streaming device. Then fit the device securely inside the projector and arrange the cables neatly. Replace the storage space cover and front cover. Turn the projector on. Follow the on-screen instructions to pair the remote control. Select your language and connect your product to your wireless network and Google account.